What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to the Leicester City Liverpool post-match reaction and analysis video and what a fabulous, magnificent win. This was a brilliant, breathtaking performance and Liverpool scored three wonderful goals along the way and the Scousers in the team, Curtis Jones, and Trent Alex-Ranald were the best players. I honestly, I think this is going to be a brilliant Liverpool team next season with the right kind of transfers. It bodes very, very well for the future. Liverpool recorded their seventh win in a row and what is significant after Liverpool struggled all season with their away form, now we have won three games in a row away from home and this was probably our most convincing performance alongside the Leeds United 6-1 win and Curtis Jones scored two wonderful, magnificent goals. Who was your man of the match? Honestly, it's so hard to pick from Curtis Jones and Trent Alexander-Arnold but also Mohamed Salah got a hat-trick of assists. Uh, Mo Salah has 44 goal contributions in like 50 games this season, something like that. Absolutely crazy, absolutely incredible uh, goals to and assists uh, numbers by Mo Salah. He now has, I think, 19 goals and uh, seven assists or something like that in the Premier League. And also Liverpool, after the very uneventful first 30 minutes, they really turned on the style. Mohamed Salah with a wonderful lobbed uh, like curling uh, pass into the far corner after Alisson's uh, kick out. By the way, Alisson was also magnificent as a sweeper keeper today and he made some really important saves in the second half to keep Leicester at bay and Alisson kept his third clean sheet in a row and he's hunting down I think uh, David De Gea who has the most clean sheets in the Premier League. I think Alisson can still catch him and if Liverpool win all of their games they can actually finish still in the top four. We will talk about that in the second half of this video and leave a like on this video if you are happy about the Liverpool performance. And do you think Liverpool can make the top four? I think our chances are getting better and better with each game week because of the magnificent form that Liverpool are in. So uh, it was a brilliant kick out from Alisson towards the left wing to Luis Diaz, who was uh, of course uh, not his, this was not his best game. He's still a little bit rusty from his long injury, but he also showed some really good uh, runs and promising touches. So the ball finds its way to Mohamed Salah on the right wing and he curls in a beautiful cross into the far corner, far post, where Curtis Jones arrives unmarked and he side foots it into the bottom far corner. Absolutely brilliant finish after a stupendous assist by Salah. And then three minutes later, it was pretty much game over already when it was a, almost a carbon copy. Salah, this time with a low, uh, like driven pass, finds Curtis Jones, who takes a touch and on the turn, he smashes it into the far corner. What a finish, what an assist by Salah. And at first glance, I really thought that was offside, but uh, Evans's foot plays Curtis Jones on side, so VAR rightfully gave the goal, even though many people were complaining about that on Twitter. They should grow uh, some eyes, I say, or get some glasses, because that was clearly on side. And Liverpool could have had a hat-trick of goals in like five minutes, and Mo Salah could have had a hat-trick of assists. He tees up Cody Gakpo, who in the middle of the goal, in the middle of the uh, penalty box, uh, uh, should have scored but he shoots straight at the keeper and uh, the chance goes begging but Liverpool thankfully sealed with, with the victory with the third goal but Leicester also came out in the second half and showed uh, some promise uh, they had a good spell at the beginning of the second half and also where we have to say Leicester's best spell was actually in the first like 15 minutes of this game of the first half but they couldn't score from it and uh, after that it was pretty much all Liverpool until uh, the Trenox Ronald free kick after that the game was over the game was done and Leicester I, they look like a team who have given up uh, they just didn't show enough fight didn't show enough 
determination, courage, work ethic, it was just not there. The Leicester players uh, were very disjointed and I don't think this change of manager sacking Brendan Rodgers, it hasn't worked for Leicester at all because the new manager, Dean Smith, I think it was his name, he has been absolutely terrible for Leicester and they scored eight, they conceded eight goals in the past two games. You can't stay up with a defense like that in the Premier League and I really like Leicester as a club. I think their story of winning the Premier League, competing in Champions League and Europa League and winning the FA Cup in the past like seven years, it has been a wonderful, magnificent story. So I will be sad to see him go, to see them go down. But the Leicester fans, again with some vile child thing towards Liverpool and Liverpool FC and Liverpool the city as well. So the Leicester fans didn't really um, endear them themselves uh, towards the Liverpool fans. And by the way, hats off to the Liverpool fans. They gave Bobby Firmino a serenade of songs, a serenade of Si Senor for a good 20-25 minutes. They kept singing the Bobby Firmino song, even though Firmino was not even on the bench, he was in the stands alongside the injured Darwin Nunez. The fans put on a magnificent show of support for Bobby Firmino and he deserves it. He has been a Liverpool legend playing at Liverpool for like 8 or 9 years, winning every single trophy there is to win. And the cherry on the cake, the icing on top of the cake, and the cherry on top of the icing was Trent Alexander-Arnold's magnificent free kick. You could argue maybe it wasn't a foul when Henderson went down under a challenge uh, from Johnny Evans, but uh, I think Evans gets a slight touch on the ball, but he kicks Henderson's leg, so it could have been it could have been given, and the referee actually gave it as a free kick. Johnny Evans screamed in the referee's face. Why? Uh, we, why does the media not pick up on this? Uh, because when some Liverpool players did it, uh, the media was all over it. But uh, when it's an, an England player or an English player doing it, uh, like Harry Kane or Adam Evans, uh, you can't really hear much about that from the media. But uh, Mo Salah lays the free kick off to Trenox Ronald and he absolutely smashes it into the top corner with the inside of the foot but it has power and accuracy and that's a deadly combination and Trent Alexander-Arnold since the switch of his role in this Liverpool team since the new tactical switch the new tactical setup Curtis Jones and Trent Alexander-Arnold look like reborn they look like completely different players to their previous versions and I think this system suits Curtis Jones so so much that left center midfielder role is he's thriving in this system he has so much confidence now and Curtis Jones was always a confidence player and many Liverpool fans have written him off and those Liverpool fans are now eating their words and rightfully so because Curtis Jones looks like a proper goal-scoring midfielder now and you know who the last time who was the midfielder who scored two goals in one half for Liverpool Steven Gerrard in 2015 so eight years ago was the last time a midfielder scored two goals in one half for Liverpool and it was against Leicester City as well in 2015 by Steven Gerrard I'm not saying Curtis Jones is going to be the next Steven Gerrard but he can be a brilliant player and he can save Liverpool 50, 60, 70 million pounds if he becomes a midfielder who can score 10 goals per season and he's still very very young, uh, he got very unlucky with some injuries but I think Curtis Jones can become a Liverpool legend if he stays at Liverpool all his life and I, just like Trenox Ronald he's a Liverpool Youth Academy player which cost Liverpool absolutely nothing and I really, really want Curtis Jones to succeed as much as Trenox Ronald. And hopefully he can get a regular starting place next season uh, and play a lot of games. Because I think that's where he will develop and shine and grow. And uh, I think Liverpool played magnificently. And the run-in actually favours Liverpool now. Because Newcastle have some really tough games. They play Brighton, Leicester City and on the last day of the season they play Chelsea away and actually their easiest game might be Leicester at uh, home 
because Leicester show absolutely no fight. But in, in that game, Leicester will still have something to play for. And also Brighton are trying to get into Europe, so the Newcastle-Brighton game will be fascinating. It will be on Thursday, and uh, hopefully Brighton can get something from Newcastle, because that means... Even if Newcastle beat Leicester City, it will go to the last day of the season. And Chelsea away with, you know, the Chelsea players getting into a little bit of form. Hopefully Chelsea will have uh, something to prove to the home fans of Chelsea. And hopefully they will give Newcastle a really, really tough game. Because if uh, Brighton get a draw and then Chelsea get a draw from Newcastle, then Liverpool, all they need is to win their games and then they can finish in the top four. Newcastle are actually just one point ahead of uh, Liverpool, just like Man United, but they played one game less, which means that, uh, I mean, Liverpool now have a goal difference of plus 28. And if we beat Aston Villa by one or two goals, and then we can actually overtake Newcastle on goal difference if we win by two or three goals against Southampton. And Southampton away with Southampton already relegated hopefully Liverpool can rack up a big scoreline and Newcastle have three very tough games as I said hopefully Leicester will put up more of a fight because that will be Leicester's last chance the Newcastle Leicester game so hopefully Leicester will put up a more of a fight and if Leicester gets something from that game they still have a chance to stay up because if then Leicester beat West Ham at home they have a chance um, to stay up so I'm hoping for Leicester City, Brighton and Chelsea to take uh, points off Newcastle. I think Man United are pretty much uh, guaranteed to finish in the top four. I just don't see Man United having a problem with, uh, you know, beating Bournemouth or Fulham at home. And then they can even lose uh, one game and still finish in the top four. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Good night.